the complete Jewish study Bible, study notes from Revelation 1. Highlighted chapter 1, verses 1 through to 4a. This is the revelation which God gave to Yeshua the Messiah, to his servant Yochanan. Beginning of normal type. On four occasions, Yochanan, in brackets, John, identifies himself as the author of the last book of the New Testament, in brackets, chapter 1, verse 1, 4, 9, and chapter 22, verse 8, closing bracket, often referred to as the revelation of Yeshua the Messiah to Yochanan. The word revelation is best translated as unveiling and parallels the genre and feel of other forms of known Jewish apocalyptic literature with very few direct quotations and no less than 500 allusions to the Tanakh. The book of Revelation accurately chronicles the end of days. The overall effect of so many Tanakh references and allusions is to anchor every part of the book in the words of Israel's prophets. Highlighted text, chapter 1, verse 4b, to the seven messianic communities in the province of Asia. Normal type. The number seven frequently represents completion and perfection in the Tanakh. God ended his work of creation on the seventh day. In brackets, Genesis 2, 1 to 3. The day of rest, Shabbat, in brackets, Hebrew rest, is the seventh day of the week. In brackets, Exodus 20, 8 to 10. Many other uses of the word seven appear in the Tanakh. Likewise, seven or seventh appears nearly 60 times in the book of Revelation, hinting at completion in its words. Highlighted text, chapter one, Verses four to five. Grace and shalom to you from, G from Yeshua, the Messiah, the faithful witness. Normal type. The original readers were greatly encouraged in their struggle against persecution by these three aspects of Yeshua, the Messiah. In brackets, the number one. He is the faithful witness. Open in bracket or the faithful martyr, see chapter 2, verse 13, close in bracket. Number two, in brackets, he is the firstborn, open in bracket, or foremost chief, close in bracket, of those raised from the dead. And number three, in brackets, he is the ruler of the earth's kings, the king of kings, open in bracket, chapter 17, verse 14, chapter 19, verse 16, and Seer, 1 Corinthians 15, 24 to 25, closing bracket. Highlighted, 1, 7, look, he is coming with the clouds, normal type. The Tanakh speaks of the day when the entire Jewish people will recognise Yeshua, who was pierced at his execution as Messiah and fully identified with God. In speech marks, me, whom they pierced, closing speech marks. Open in bracket, Zechariah 12, verse 10. See the return of the Messiah, Zechariah 12 to 14. Close in bracket. As a midrash, the phrase, those who pierced him, is not limited to Jews, nor does it make only the Jews and Gentiles historically responsible for Yeshua's physical death. Rather, 
it includes all who have not acknowledged his atoning sacrificial death, as well as all for whom he died. Highlighted text 1 8. I am the Aleph and the Tab, says Adonai. Normal type. The Aleph and the Tab, in brackets Hebrew, or the Alpha and Omega, in brackets Greek. The first and last letters in these alphabets is the one who existed at the beginning and who will exist at the end. Here and at chapter 21, verse 6, the phrase refers to God the Father, but at chapter 22, verse 13, it refers only to Yeshua, meaning the one who is, who was, and who is coming. Highlighted text, chapter 1, verse 13. Among the menorahs was someone like a son of man, normal type. This is Yeshua's preferred title for himself as the Messiah, in brackets, Matthew chapter 8, 20. C is the Messiah, the Son of God, or the Son of Man, or both, Mark chapter 2, 28, closing brackets. Yeshua fulfills three main offices set forth in the Tanakh, prophet, priest, and king. During his life on earth, Yeshua served as a prophet, in brackets, Matthew chapter 21, verse 11. At present, he serves as high priest in heaven, in brackets, Hebrews chapter 2, 17, 3, 6, 4, 14, 5, 10, 6, 20, 10, 21, closing brackets. This is signified by his wearing a long robe and a gold band around his chest. The clothing of the Kohen Haggadol, or high priest, in brackets Exodus 28. The rest of the description is, the rest of the description in Revelations 1 to 14, to 15, suggests his future role as judge and messianic king. Highlighted text, chapter 1, 14, his head and hair were as white as snow white wool, his eyes like a fiery flame. Normal text, in Dan, Daniel, chapter 7, 9 to 10, it is in speech marks, an ancient of days clothing speech marks, closing speech marks. God the Father, who is described with similar language, thus confirming Yeshua's identification with Adonai. Highlighted text 1 17. I fell down at his feet like a dead man. Normal type. This is a common reaction to seeing. The Shekinah, in brackets, the Divine Presence, CF, Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 5, Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 28, Daniel, chapter 5, verse 17, Revelations, chapter 19, verse 10, closing brackets. Many titles and descriptions which the Tanakh applies only to Yahweh, in brackets, Lord, are applied to Yeshua in the New Testament. Since the New Testament distinguishes Yeshua from God the Father, we conclude Yeshua is to be identified with Yahweh, with God. Yet Yeshua, in brackets, like the Ruach HaKodesh, closing brackets, is not the Father. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.